Back to our continued focus of the big story here for the past three days, the CBSC paper leaks. Students are protesting in various parts of the country, demanding a rollback of the decision to hold examinations again. They're also demanding action against the CBI officials who let this leak take place. On Reporters Live today, our reporters get you students' voices from across the country first. Well, let's go across to Milan first. Milan, there are multiple demands. Of course, one of them is that the students want this uh, uh, examination, re-examination to be rolled back. Now, what has been the response, if at all, from the CBSC, or are they still in hiding? Well, uh, uh, in full agreement with you and, uh, you know, students have been continuously protesting across the national capital uh, since the time that CBSE has announced that they will reconduct just two examinations of maths 10th and economics 12th. In fact, they say that it is completely unfair on two grounds. One, that most of these papers, many of them were leaked. If we could talk about accountancy, physics, as well as biology for that matter, had also leaked. But the CBSE has not taken any cognizance of these papers and when we talk about reconducting these examinations two pertinent points that students are raising right now is number one their entire year of preparation is wasted and uh, secondly it will also hamper their preparations for the upcoming examinations competitive examinations for the 12th class and as for the 10th class as well the next academic session of 11th also gets uh, a completely uh, rolled off track so students have been demanding that either the HRD minister Prakash Javdekar ask the students as to what they want or conduct all examinations again with fair and security which also the students feel that the CBSE will not be able to do as all these leaks that have been taking place and we have been reporting on Mirror now they did not take any action despite getting hints and tip-offs from the very start back to you yes in fact uh, Milan we are also expecting a news briefing now very soon uh, uh, we are given to understand that today as well there was a meeting between the HRD minister and the CBSC chief uh, what can we expect are the dates going to be announced today or are they still going to sit there and give us more assurances Well, certainly uh, because of the kind of pressure that has been put by uh, various organic protests that took place across uh, Delhi and other parts as well, uh, there have been meetings and deliberations that have been happening since morning there at the residence of the Union Minister Prakash Javdekar. We know from sources that CBSE officials were also called, the CBSE chairperson was also called, and they have been meeting to deliberate on the dates, they have been meeting to deliberate on how to conduct these examinations. Uh, we had also seen how a response from the chairperson came forward in the uh, favor of students saying that whatever we will do we will do in the favor of students and they have been many deliberations one of them is that CBSC feels that it will be a humongous task to conduct all the examinations together and that is something that will put them on the back foot yet again but something or the other is going to be an announcement uh, we'll expect that at 6 p.m. Uh, as the minister along with the CBSC officials is going to address this press conference back to doesn't matter how big a task it is because if papers were indeed leaked for other subjects as well then the CBSC needs to rise up to the occasion and ensure uh, that the right thing here is done but let's bring in some of the uh, uh, um, other voices from across the country now let's go across to Disha next uh, joining us in uh, Mumbai Disha what are the students saying here Absolutely, Tanvi, here I am joined by students as well as parents who are really disappointed with uh, the entire CBSC, uh, uh, you know, on part of the failure by uh, the government out there. And let's just speak to the students because uh, at the end of the day, they are at the receiving end. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Hum uh, pe Max, we are talking about the Max paper. Uh, and uh, how do you react to the fact that now the re-examinations will be conducted and the dates of the re-examinations? are not even out like uh, we are also shocked and it is also like a um, funny news because we were not able to believe that we have to give the exam like uh, once we came out of the examination hall after giving math we were so relieved that yes finally math is done and now we have one last and we are free 
but then now after coming home that uh, we got to know that we have to give our maths uh, test again so it's really like a shocking news for us we thought it was a prank at first because it was it was totally shocking for us we came home we were relieved that finally maths a burden like maths was relieved and we came to know it it was a read test and we we have to study the entire portion again which is uh, with a with a long day with a, a really long gap in between so we are really shocked and we don't really want to greet us so how do you really react to the news uh, that today it has come in that cbse very well they had got warning several warnings and alerts that the paper uh, could leak or rather was leaked so uh, do you really think that it would have been better for the uh, you know cbse to really call off uh, the paper for that day uh i really think yeah it would be better to call off the paper for that day because they knew from first only that the paper is leaked so they should have stopped the exam on that time and they should have given the dates for uh, later so that we don't have, we don't had the pressure that yeah we have to give it again like we have to remember every uh jaise uh, cbse ne aaj matlab uh, aisa samne aaya hai ki cbse se ko pehle sabse pehle baloom tha unko kafi warnings di jayi thi aapke bacche jo hai unhone max jo toughest subject hai jo unhone kaha hai aapko aapko is baat ka kaisa pura lag raha hai जब भी पता चला कि मैथ्स का पेपर स्टूडेंट्स का बहुत अच्छा गया है 130 को बच्चे खुशी खुशी बाहर आ रहे हैं तो बहुत अच्छा लगा है कि चलो मैथ्स का पेपर अच्छा गया लेकिन जब भी पता चला 145 को कि मैथ्स का पेपर री एग्जाम उनको देना है तभी बहुत झटका लगा कि पूरे साल भर में जो बच्चों ने मेहनत की है वो वो उनकी मेहनत बेकार गई और जो बच्चे ने मेहनत की वो वापस उनको ये करना है तो बच्चे वैसे ही डिप्रेस है फ्रस्ट्रेटेड है और जो सेकेंड अप्रैल को जो नेक्स्ट एग्जाम है उनके लिए नहीं पढ़ पा रहे आपको आपकी गवर्नमेंट से क्या सरकार से क्या मांग है क्योंकि ये जो है सीबीएसई का वापस री एग्जामिनेशन अगर सीबीएसई को पहले से मालूम था उन्होंने इंडिकेट नहीं किया इसको अब जो है वो बच्चे सफर कर रहे हैं आपका गवर्नमेंट से क्या एक मांग नो आई फील दैट दिस मिस्टेक हैज हैपेंड फ्रॉम बाय द सीबीएसई अथॉरिटीज दे हैव नॉट टेकन केप्ट अ प्रॉपर चेक ऑन द पेपर सो द चिल्ड्रन शुड नॉट बी पेनलाइज्ड फॉर देयर मिस्टेक दे शुड इंप्रूव और प्रोटेक्ट देयर पेपर्स फ्रॉम लीकेज फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट ईयर और इन फ्यूचर but a re exam is not advisable uh the paper which has been leaked i would uh, suggest that there only the examination to happen not everywhere actually that is uh, in fact in mumbai i don't think so the leakage has been happened so i would suggest, uh, suggest to happen your your comments ma'am on this entire you because your student your uh, kids have suffered because after really preparing hard for it uh, for the examination or re examination will take place the dates are also not yet announced yeah this is uh, that uh, dates what they are not giving is taking a long time also and uh, re exam is not the solution what if the uh, A news coming in that there is a student from Cochin who has moved the top court against the decision of the CBSC now to conduct the re-examination of the maths paper on suspicion of leakage. We'll try and go across to Minakshi in just a bit, but uh, very uh, quickly now this uh, case has clearly reached the top court, uh, and students are now turning towards the top court to look into this matter. Clearly, they have lost complete faith in the central board uh, for education to take any. Uh, a decision that may be in the interest of children today across the country remember many students are, are questioning the decision to order re-examination saying if it wasn't their fault why should they pay for it minakshi so that's minakshi we understand that uh, a student from cochin has moved the top court what happens next the jurisdiction of the supreme court has been uh, uh, invoked on such a emotive issue uh, is something which is going to assume import uh, but for now yes uh, a student of class 10 has approached the apex court against the decision of the cbsc to cancel and reconduct uh, the maths exam held on the 28th of uh, march uh, and the petition essentially uh, uh, raises uh, certain aspersions on the cbsc's uh, direction uh, on the cbsc's uh, uh, decisions thus far and we uh, it goes on to say as to how mere apprehension of paper leakage is subjecting about 16 lakh students across the country uh, to uh, uh, to trauma it leaving them in a state of lurch and most importantly again going on to cite and we are quoting from the petition here and we that the decision of the cbsc to cancel the exam based on mere apprehension that there is a likelihood of the exam having been compromised is violative of the proportionality doctrine uh, so according 
referring to him essentially uh, that uh, the amount of trauma, the amount of uncertainty uh, which is hovering around uh, so many students and their fates uh, which have been linked uh, inextricably uh, to the outcome uh, of these exams is something which warrants for immediate attention of the top court. All right, Minakshi, thanks so much for joining us. Keeping a close eye on what happens then in the top court on Monday uh, when the Supreme Court will take a look and decide whether they want to hear this plea or not. Going back to our reporters, let's go across to Pramod from Chennai. Pramod, uh, you know, many students in cities like Mumbai are saying, well, the league didn't happen here, nobody got the paper, so why are we being punished? What are students of Chennai saying? Well, that's the exact mood I could see on the ground over here. Here, the people, the students, I think they are giving out a very valid point. It's it's kind of like a kind of an imaginative point or no, but according to law or something, they state that a hundred convicts can be released, but one innocent should not be punished. Based on that is what they are asking over here. This is the point they are bringing out. I'm just going to discuss with the students. So just tell me how, what kind of preparations you do for an examination that you like math. So Max is basically a subject which you need utmost concentration. So you deal with um, you deal with that same mood for about one week before the exam, and you finally release that uh, release all of that out during the day of the exam. So it offers a stress-free environment for the whole week, and 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 it, it's not a subject which you can explicitly prepare for. You have to revolve around so many topics, and finally come to the point when when you are writing the exam. So it's a bit difficult when you are thinking of preparing it again. And and like imagine. Imagine you have to take the examination again, math or economics, like what kind of like uh, uh, mood you go through? Uh, isn't it unfair to uh, keep the re-exam for tenses again? All our hardship, uh, all our uh, uh, hard and, and everything is getting wasted. And uh, we just wanted to break the ice after writing our last exam. But after coming to my home, uh, my mother was like, you need to write the exam again. So I was like shocked. Uh, I was like so worried. And uh, preparing uh, the two max is a very, very core subject. And people hesitate to do max because you need to keep practicing each and every day. So it's becoming so hard for the people. Uh, unlike uh, economics or any other subject, it's like you need to just know the uh, gist maybe. But uh, max is a core subject. You need to... Well, well, like, well, should you be punished for a mistake of someone else? Well, I first of all feel very, very like I feel disheartened after knowing that we have to take our max exams again. Uh, the, the, I'm I'm a student studying in 10th grade and 10th board exams this is one of the first main main life carrying exam for us. And we come to know that there's some leaking leaks le leaking and things happening in the in this process. So I'm there's there's not there, there's not a problem for a student to write the exam again. But he feels so disheartened all his hardship. His stress, which has gone for for almost like a month, his parents would have suffered the uh, one year of stu uh, tuition, and now you know that all tuitions sort have ended. I, I want to tell you that like these students over here, I believe they are honest students, and they have taken their exams in an honest manner. The way I've spoken to them, the way I've interacted, the way they try to give points to me, it's like very much, very much clear that these are students who have put all their 100% effort for this examination. And right now, it is said that there is a possibility you might have to take math and economics exams exam again, and that also the dates have been noted announced. What kind of stress are you going through? Yeah, it's been a really very stressful week for me. See. I didn't commit a mistake, then why should I retake it? I didn't do any mistake. Why should I take the burden of other people? If 100 people do a mistake, then why should one innocent or, or one state or one whatever it may be, maybe a lesser than a 50 percentage also, why should the innocent people should take all these things? Also about this Fiji, economy, Fiji uh, need coaching extra extra, we are going to face hardship for these also. We are going to, we are going to learn 10th as well as 11th and don't know what else is going to be in our life. Yes. A, a friend of mine, uh, there is also news that uh, a coaching boy is also supporting it. Uh, I'm very, I'm very uh, happy that he is also supporting us. Matsa, Vada, Narakenda, support Pandanda, Vangda. Well, there you got the support of the students of Tamil Nadu. And not just that, there is one more point over here. Yeah. These students are also asking a very valid question. Tomorrow they write the 12th examination again. And if the paper gets leaked, does yeah. that mean they have to go ahead and write it again? That's the question yeah, they are They have to look at their current examination or re-examination. They have to look at the next set of competitive examination and start preparing for that and for 11th standard because uh, that academic session is also you know, right here. So clearly a big, big, big burden for the students. Uh, Milan, Disha and uh, Pramod, thanks so much for joining us quickly going across to Ashwarya who's tracking the HRD minister now he's expected to uh, hold a briefing at about 6 p.m. Ashwarya what can you tell us what should we expect
Well, as you said, I am standing outside Prakash Javadekar's house, uh, you know, who is the HRD minister. And, uh, you know, we were expecting some kind of clarification to come from the minister, but uh, till now, no such clarification has come. What we understand is that uh, very soon, definitely, we will, uh, you know, uh, there will be clarity coming out on the dates of uh, the re-examinations of the papers of maths and economics. That is what we are made to understand at this point of time. Uh, but also, uh, you know, uh, the investigation will be a very in-depth uh, investigation and, uh, you know, they'll be trying to nab all those people who are involved in this massively close to 22 lakh students across the country have been impacted by this leak. All right, we'll keep coming back to you as we count down to that news briefing in just a few minutes from now. Let's take a short break.